The follow-up is simple. Ask a question, listen to the answer, then follow up. I'm your host, Noah Kozlov. Enjoy. Welcome back to another episode of the follow-up podcast, and we are back in the kitchen. I'm Noah. This is my six-year-old daughter, Eden, and every week it's a topic of Eden's choice that she wants to share with all of you. We've started doing this series together. It was just a podcast that I had hosted audio only, but we started doing it together at the period of isolation, and the folks at Vocal asked us to put it on camera. Eden was good with that. She has to be the co-host, and we have talked about all sorts of things. Today? We're going to roll up our sleeves and make some dinner. We are. So what do we have? What's on the menu? So we're going to have some cod Mm -hmm. with lemon. We're going to add some salt and some pepper. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have farro. And we're going to have some roasted broccoli. Sounds great. All right. So this is actually... A what dinner. we're having for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorites. Because I really like fish. So, first thing we got to do is... Preheat the oven. Okay. Let's do it. So, first we push bake. And now you push 400. So, 4, 0, 0. And then you're going to push start. Great. So, start. so I just right. preheated the oven. <laughs> preheated the oven. Great. So... As we did in the last episode when we were making dessert, when you made that fruit cup, I'm going to try to just stay out of the way for as much as I can, and you're going to start and explain what we've got going on. Okay. But I'll start by saying we've got a pound of cod here. Yeah. And it also goes to show that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money for a healthy meal. So this... A pound of cod was about $8 at the store. And so you put it into half pound portions usually, and usually just maybe like a third of a pound. And then the broccoli is about two bucks. The farro for our serving that we'll have tonight, I don't know, maybe 50 cents. (laughs) So all that for a nice, healthy family meal. All right, so how about you get started? Okay, so we first... I think brush the olive oil on here. And then we'll put the seasonings on after. So so bring that over. Just wipe it on the side so it doesn't show. And just go like this smoothly. And get it even on all sides so it tastes the same throughout. But so you get the same thing and you enjoy it the same every bite. I'm just going to go like this. Make sure you also get the sides. You can also put sauces on it, but make sure it's not too heavy because cod is very light and fluffy. So you don't want to put too much in there that just overpowers it. Because cod has a not too strong, not too strong of a taste. So you don't want to overpower something that has a very strong taste and then not be able to taste the cod because that's your main thing that you're having. So let's just make sure that it's all smooth. So if since our brush doesn't have like that much left on it you can actually you can just put it in and just brush it again but just try to smooth it out instead of just doing the same thing and getting more and just bring more and just getting it all olive oily which won't be good okay so we got that brushed very nicely and now let's put some salt on the i'm gonna need help with salt Okay, so why don't you put the pepper on first? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, don't tilt it all the way. You don't want too much. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. It looks like a chia seed to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just sprinkle it evenly all over. That looks pretty good for one piece. Mm-hmm. Nice and even. Yeah, and now let's go on the second piece. Is that two pieces? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're doing a nice job being very delicate with it. Thank you. Because that comes out pretty fast. And you like black pepper. But as you said, you could use lots of other seasonings right. if you wanted to. Like, what other seasonings have you had on coffee you really like? I like Old Bay. I also like paprika. Because they go really well with things 
they balance both flavors out so they don't overpower each other. They come together and make a really nice combination. So now that we've got this, I'm going to do a little bit of salt. Uh, to help me with some salt. Okay. Okay. I like put it in my hand so you can sprinkle it and you just don't put it over because it comes out even faster. Mm hmm. You, sure you don't put too much and just like pour the whole hand on one because that would just be too much. And this is for all of them. Now we're just, I have some and we did it over once. So we're just going to go like this. And just smug it all over all. Mm-hmm. Just your hands off. Okay. And now we're going to put some lemon. That is strong, so you don't want to add too much because you can't take out from what you already have. So you can, because I'm going to add more when, after it's finished cooking. So, because I really love lemon on a lot of things. So we're going to make sure it's nice and it doesn't overpower everything, just like we've been talking about. You don't want to put too much of everything because you can't take it out and it can overpower a lot because... Things are strong. You don't just don't notice how strong they are because you don't add a lot of them all the time. Can you squeeze all of them in yourself? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> Give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Give it a shot. Don't worry to get me hands. Yeah, but I can't really. It's okay. It's I got you. Hard. I got you. Okay. Thanks. Mhm. Mm yeah. Good teamwork. Thanks. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh. Ah, yeah. Seeds. Seeds everywhere. Hopefully you don't squeeze in your seat out. No. Yep. No more seats. Yeah. Okay. So we always remember fish 400. That's what my mom taught me. Fish 400. Fish 400 in the fish oven. Fish 4. Fish 4. Fish 400. Chicken makes sense because... 350. Yeah. And so once we put this in the oven, mm -hmm. it'll take about, probably about 12, 13 minutes. But we're going to gonna use our time efficiently and make the other things while this is cooking. Next up. We have the baking sheet over here. The baking sheet for the broccoli. So put your, so get a baking sheet and put parchment paper on it. Mm hmm Let me get the cutting board. It has a weird, it has an interesting texture to it. What's that? Parchment paper. Yeah. But like when you just rub your hands all hard, it feels really weird. Yeah, it does a little bit. Well, a little more to me because I already have lemon and stuff on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me get the broccoli. Okay. I'm going to follow you. Okay. You know, you can, if you have, you can use the cut up, already cut up broccoli. So small pieces. But if you don't, just try to cut your full broccoli into smaller pieces. Yeah, and so a decent size is probably like this. But I also like to, to cut it up more. I like to cut it up a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut this up a little bit more. Okay, so I'll get down. Thank I you. You can get back up. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to just cut, cut it up a little bit like that. And while while I'm and cutting. I'm I'm gonna organize it. Yeah, uh, you don't have to organize it now because you're just gonna mess them up anyway. Right, but because I'm just you're gonna, gonna put. I know. You're gonna I'm put. Not, uh, because you threw one over here, so I'm putting them oh, thanks. I'm just putting them up. So I'll just cut these up a little bit. What seasonings do you want to put on the broccoli? Definitely pepper. Okay. Olive oil, of course. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder and Old Bay. Great. Which I also chose. So it's old babe. I, one, I really like it, and two, we said it goes really well on salmon, so why don't we use another seasoning, just on di something different that in the meal? But we're having cod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just a salmon. Yeah, you're right. Okay, because you really, really like salmon. Anyway, I'm just like. <laughs> mm. Can I just smooth these out? Because when you cook them, you want them all to get an even bake. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna spread them out a little more. But you are also gonna get really messy right now. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm gonna yeah. massage them with olive oil. Okay, Gross, so. I think. Pour a little olive oil on. Maybe like. Massage. Two it. tablespoons, maybe? Yeah, probably massage them. Uh, you don't even have to massage it. You can just mm, start mixing it up. Go ahead. With my hands? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
And as you do that, you I'm gonna put more pepper on my hand. <laughs> okay. oh, it's like Stop it's, for a moment. It's like it's snowing. Snowing pepper? Snowing pepper. Okay, that. Garlic powder. And it's bitter. Watch your hands. I feel like it's bitter with a lot of things when you don't have a cut because like all of it can burn your hands with a cut. Uh, yeah, when it gets in, it burns your hands a little bit? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, I don't have a cup, but I'm just, I just say it. Like there you go. It's more so the salt like is really not good for cuts. Or hand sanitizer. <laughs> no, right, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, so Old Bay. We're putting a bunch Boom. of things in. Okay, But Mix it makes it, all it up. very delicious. When you, depends on what you use. But if you don't use too much, so it would get too strong. But sometimes if you use a lot of things, it can get too overpowering. Or a lot of things sometimes makes it taste really good. But you depends know, on what you use to make it, like a lot of things. You know how I know you've been you've been watching a lot of uh, cooking shows? No, well, yes, because we do watch a lot of cooking shows. I know, but you know how I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, I know. Using the words that the judges use? Like overpowering and balanced out. Yeah, that's that so you're picking out. You're picking up on that vocabulary. Yeah. Okay, that looks. That is pretty. That looks good. Okay, so now you uh, can. My hands are very messy. Yeah. So now you can spread it out and organize it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you don't. If you put them like on top, like how they are right now, make sure you spread them out because if like this, one of them might get like just stay how it is right now, not get baked. Right, might be, might end up just not Wrong. getting as, right, as cooked. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, broccoli at 400 in the oven, probably not ideal, but, yeah. you know, we're just using one oven and you can get the fish in there at the same thing. So, broccoli in the oven, maybe for 20, 20 to 25 minutes, maybe? Oh, later than the fish? Mm hmm. Yeah. I feel like it Longer than the fish? I think it would get burnt that way, but... No, nah, it's about 20, it maybe about 20, 25 minutes. Right, but that, it would seem that it would get burnt because fish usually takes longer than, like, broccoli. But since you're putting it in the oven, on the stove, it wouldn't take as long. Right, and the stove would be pretty quick. Exactly right. Maybe, like, five minutes. Maybe. Okay, so then... Okay, now my hands are very messy. <laughs> okay, so now you can't touch anything else for the rest of the podcast. No, I can't. <laughs> you're gonna have Just, to run, you're okay. gonna have to run in the bathroom. We might even pause this for you to run in the bathroom. I'm back now. So, while you were in the bathroom, I got a text from mom that said she was leaving now, leaving okay. the office now, which would be perfect timing, I think. So what let's put, think? I'm gonna put the broccoli in the mm -hmm. oven right now. When I was um, washing my hands, I felt like I was massaging my hands with some treatment because like, it felt weird because when I, when you rub, you rub soap and you just go like this with your hands and stuff, it felt like you were rubbing like all these seeds and things, which were, which I thought were like treatments on my hands. Treatments? Right, but like, like, a, like at a spa or something? Yeah. Why did you like, think it was a spa? But like instead, I was like using seasonings and it like felt like I was doing that. It was funny. <laughs> okay, so now time for pharaoh. the pharaoh. So. We have a pot. Bring the pot over. And for three, and and for three of us, the about a, about a cup is good. So, okay, so yes, measuring cup, farro. Easy to find at Trader Joe's, quick cook farro. Good, okay, measure it out. Good, excellent, all right, toss it in. Something's wrong. That's fine. Okay, good. Talking about like when you said baking shows. Hold on one moment. I'm gonna put um, about soap. about a about like a cup and a half of water. Yeah. Okay. So when you were saying about baking shows, um, since I like to watch them, it is really cool because for the next ten days I have winter. Um, what's it called? February. Break. February break. So that means for the next ten days I get to watch a show every night. <laughs> Not fun. Okay. Um, Very fun. Why don't you? So why don't you come over here? Okay, I'll move my stool also. Turn it around. Okay. So over here, you are going to turn on the stove, and so for the pharaoh, we've got to get it up to a boil. So this is what you do. You turn 
one, so it says power boil, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know wh which one you're using here? We are using this Yeah, one. that's the front right, yeah. Because as there's four circles, mm -hmm. there's one that's called it, and that shows which one you're using. Okay. So you're using the one on the front right. Okay, so be very careful and you know what to do. Mm -hmm. So once it says power boil. So you push. Turn to where it gets the lit. Yep. There you go. Great. Yeah. Thank I you. So now we will let's get away from the flame. <laughs> so we'll wait for that to boil. And then once it starts to boil, mm -hmm. then we will put in we will turn it down to a simmer. Yeah. And in the meantime, mm -hmm. we wait. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so in the time that it was cooking. Yeah. Good timing. Yep. Mom came home. <laughs> so then it'll be ready in a few moments. Yeah. I just took the fish out of the oven. It took 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. I Perfect. Just I just saw mom walk by. <laughs> and took the broccoli out of the oven in about, yeah, it was about 20, 22 minutes and everything's good. So on your plate right in front of you is what, the perfect serving of everything? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of farro. This is what I'm gonna eat for dinner. <laughs> some broccoli, and you got some lemon there. So let me just put a little bit of fish on here okay. so you can try it and see if it's good. And keep, keep the oven on for now. Just so you know, we're gonna squeeze some more lemon, but in the lemon, this one, when you can see, when you come over, there's a, a seed in there. So make sure you don't squeeze a seed. Okay? Mm-hmm, all right. Oh, yummy. That's what I'm having for fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you all, but you, you always want to try your food first, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you so, can see, there's a little seed there. I won't use that piece then. Use this, yeah. or that. Then we can use that for my fish when I really eat some more. Okay, so you try it first. Let me know how it tastes. Just came out of the Right out of the oven. oven. Good? Does it need, Very. need anything else? I don't think so. Can it's I try? really good. Mmm, nice and flaky. And good. The rest. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Mm. And then you gotta try your broccoli. Mm -hmm. And the farro. So the farro, if you, you cook it just like rice, simmer it down until the water goes away. But the, you put in less water if you want it to be a little bit more firm, more water the other way. How's the broccoli? Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're full? <laughs> Alright, let's go have dinner. Love you. <laughs>